most skilled and talented people who are at another level. John Graham Blitt never saw his paintings. At the age of 30, John lost his sight from the complications of epilepsy. Dealing with depression and fears, he found salvation in art. And now Graham Blitt is one of the most famous American artists of our time. The sense of touch replaced the artist's eyesight, he developed a special technique for creating paintings. He makes the sketch matte paint, leaving a noticeable mark on the canvas, and then he finds the desired area along the protruding contours and fills it with paint. J.C. Shayton Tennant has a tattoo machine instead of a hand. Shayton lost his right hand in childhood, but even then he knew that this would not prevent him from becoming a cool tattoo master. It was hard for the guy to find an artist who was ready to take him as a student, because of his disability. But where there is a strong desire, there is always a way to fulfill it. Once Tennant, already being a left-handed tattoo master, met an engineer Jean Louis Gunzel, who created for him a unique prosthesis with a nozzle for tattooing. Initially, it was planned as an exhibit, a kinetic sculpture in the steampunk style, but Gunzel decided to make it functional for his friend. Huger from Mountain Climber became a prosthetist. When Hugh was 8 years old, he conquered his first peak, Mount Temp with a height of 3544m. The boy showed great promise and was considered one of the most promising climbers, but at the age of 17 there was a terrible tragedy, which, however, did not crush him, but rather, winged. Because of the blizzard, Hugh and his friend were stuck in the icy mountains and could not get out for three days, during which time the guys got a severe frostbite. Our hero had to amputate both legs. After the operation, Hugh promised himself that he would definitely return to the mountains. Thus began his career in prosthetics. At first he created prostheses for himself from improvised materials, but they could not be called comfortable and making life easier. Then the guy chose the path of science, he graduated from three universities, the last of which is Harvard, where Hugh Hare received a PhD in biophysics. Tony Melendez plays guitar without hands. The composer, singer, and songwriter dreamed of playing the guitar all his life, and the lack of hands from birth did not become an obstacle for this. He got the hang of playing the instrument with his feet and soon became famous throughout the world. From the 80s to the present, Tony gives concerts, wrote a book and regularly conducts motivational trainings.